Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. During this celebration, let us pray for this intention. From the Diocese of Kuntur, Christovala Sahai Matha Parish, this Mass is offered for Divivani TV Corpus Fund donors, Uppu, Raviteja, and Aditi. On the occasion of birthday of you, Raviteja, for good health and good future, thanking God for all the graces received and for good health of Jojaya, Balashauri, and all family members by family members. Today's Rosary and Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God, Holy Hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. Welcome to this Holy Eucharistic celebration. I know the one in whom I have believed and I am sure that he, the just judge, the mighty, will keep safe what is my due until that day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today the Holy Church keeps the feast of the conversion of St. Paul, the Apostle. When we see the life of the church, the salvation history, especially after Jesus' resurrection, there are the best pillars, the personalities of St. Peter and St. Paul, who were the sure foundation of the church. And when we see their personal lives, St. Peter was considered as the apostle for the Jews and especially St. Paul was considered as the apostle for the Gentiles where no other people of God and the disciples especially did not want to go. So wherever nobody went, St. Paul went and proclaimed the mission, the message of his Lord who is Jesus Christ, who, whom he encountered at on the way to Damascus. So as we partake in this Holy Eucharistic celebration, let us ask the Lord to give us the grace to be converted to Him and be real messengers of Christ. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have, I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in, in what, what I have done, done and in what, what I have failed to do, through, through my, my fault, through, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen.
Blessed Apostle Paul, draw us, we pray, nearer to you through the example of him whose conversion we celebrate today, and so make us witnesses to your truth in the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Rise and be baptized, and wash away your sins, calling on the name of Jesus. First reading. Reading from the Acts of the Apostle, chapter 22, verses 3 to 16. A reading from the Acts of the Apostle, chapter 22, verses 3 to 16. In those days, Paul said to the people, I am a Jew, born in Tarsus in Sicilia, but brought up in this city, educated at the feet of Gamaliel, according to the street manner of the law of our fathers, 
being zealous for God, as all of you are this day. I persecuted this way to the death, binding and delivering to prison both men and women, as the high priest and the whole council of elders can bear me witness. From them I received letters to the brothers, and I journeyed towards Damascus to take those also who were there and bring them in bonds to Jerusalem to be punished. As I was on my way and drew near to Damascus, about noon, a great light from heaven suddenly shone around me, and I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And I answered, Who are you, Lord? And he said to me, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom you are persecuting. Now those who were with me saw the light, but didn't understand the voice of the one who was speaking to me. And I said, What shall I do, Lord? And the Lord said to me, Rise and go into Damascus, and there you will be told all that is appointed for you to do. And since I could not see because of the brightness of that light, I was led by the hand by those who were with me and came into Damascus. And one Ananias, a devout man according to the law, well spoken of by all the Jews who lived there, came to me and standing by me said to me, Brother Saul, receive your light. And at that very hour I received my sight and saw him. And he said, The God of our fathers appointed you to know his will to see the righteous one and to hear a voice from his mouth for you will be a witness for him to everyone of what you have seen and heard and now why do you wait rise and be baptized and wash away your sins calling on his name the word of the Lord thanks be to God your response shall be Go into all the world. Go into the, all the world. Proclaim the gospel. Proclaim the gospel. Oh, praise the Lord, all your nations. Acclaim him, all ye peoples. Your response: Go into all the world. Go into all the world. And proclaim the gospel. And proclaim the gospel. For his merciful love has prevailed over us, and the Lord's faithfulness endures forever. Your response, go into all the world, go into all the world, and proclaim the gospel, and proclaim the gospel. Please. 
triste vida de lo de Asmin. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Let us be glad in it. Let us be glad in it. This is the vida de lo ஆட்சி <laughs> they will speak in tongues they will pick up the serpents with their hands and if they drink any deadly poison it will not hurt them they will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ just now we have heard the gospel taken from the gospel according to st mark chapter 16 verses 15 to 18 he said jesus says in my name they will cast all the demons they will speak in tongues they will pick up the serpents with their hands and even if they drink the deadly poison and nothing will happen to them they will not be hurt and even if they lay their hands on the sick they will recover so everything happens here as for the promise of the lord that in his name there is healing in his name there is mercy and in his name there is conversion and salvation today as we heard from the gospel we see and meditate the power in the name of jesus or the power in jesus name we know the jesus jesus name is manuel which means god with us and there is also another name for jesus or in hebrew as yeshua which means freedom so when you say anything in the name of the lord in the name of jesus when you whenever you utter the name of jesus as jesus you have freedom you have deliverance and you have god with you so this is a promise made by jesus or uh, which is very sure when we believe in his name and we are sure, we are certain that there is remedy for everything and today especially jesus is mentioning the liberative perspective in that is that lies in his name so the liberative power in the name of jesus and he continues to say those who believe or those who possess the name of jesus they will have miraculous powers with them they have healing with them and no harm will happen to the people who believe in the name of jesus or who bear the name of jesus and hence my dear people of god do we take this name of jesus seriously if not we have to take this and believe in the name of jesus today we have great conversion in the life of saint paul when jesus told him it is i jesus of nazareth whom you are persecuting then saint paul 
totally surrenders himself, totally comes forward to show his conversion and thereafter he, was, he became apostle for him because he has seen the resurrection and he had the vision of the Lord. So my dear brothers and sisters, so here St. Paul experiences the power that lies in the name of Jesus and there is conversion too. So when he encountered Jesus, he asks him, who are you? Then Jesus responds with his name. So as we celebrate this, this feast of the conversion of St. Paul, we need to be rededicated because we are far away from the name of Jesus. We are away from his message and hence we need to come back to the Lord, show our conversion and continue to liberate the people who does not bear the name of Christ and continue to baptize the people in the name of the Lord. So afterwards we know the life of St. Paul. He becomes apostle for the Gentiles. That's how Jesus' name has power. Do we realize that? We have to realize and be sure and certain and there is power in the name of Jesus. And we see some kind of people. Though some people say, I believe in God, I believe in Jesus Christ, but I don't believe in the church. This, this kind, these kinds of statements we would have encountered in our personal life. People saying, I believe in God, I believe in Jesus, but I don't believe in the concept or in the church. So my dear brothers and sisters, here we need to have a understanding, unifying understanding that apart from Jesus, there is no church. And apart, away from the church, you cannot worship God who is Jesus Christ. So Jesus and church have formed the one body of the church or one body of Christ. And hence, there is no separation. That means we cannot deviate or we cannot differentiate Jesus and the church. It is the church is instituted and the church takes its birth through the, the power that lies in the name of Jesus, which means he is the creator. He is the one who built the church and hence we need to believe both in the church and, the, and in Jesus Christ who is God trying to separate Jesus and the church he is like separating our head from our body. If you try to separate Jesus and if you try to worship God and do not cooperate or give your complete cooperation to the church, it is like cutting your head and trying to be away with the church, trying to be away with the, with the head and trying to be like body. So it will not happen in our individual lives. So my dear brothers and sisters, even St. Paul says in his letter to Colossians chapter 1 verse 18, he says, Jesus is the head of his body, the church. He is the source of body's life, which means he is the one, he is the source, he is the creator and hence we need to believe both in the church and in Jesus Christ. Today, as we reflect upon the conversion of St. Paul, we have beautiful message, beautiful passage from gospel according to St. Mark chapter 15, chapter 16 verses 15 to 18. In this gospel, we see Jesus instructing, we see Jesus revealing himself, we see Jesus mission, giving mission to his disciple to do everything in his name. So that means what is the expectation of Jesus? Do everything in his name. Instruct anyone in his name. Command anyone in his name. Admonish anyone in his name. Commission anyone in his name. So shortly before he ascended to heaven, before he reached his father, he gives triple special powers, otherwise called as triple mission to his disciple. He says, preach the gospel, baptize the believer into the church and Minister the people's body and spirit. So my dear brothers and sisters, wherever, whenever you preach, whenever 
you bring anyone to the church or whenever you are a, you take the position of Jesus as a missionary or as a person who extend the healing hand towards somebody somebody do everything in his name so this is the expectation of the lord and hence no jesus no church and no separation in the church so today is today we end unity octave 2 so if the apostles or the disciples celebrated the separatedness or if they had celebrated the differences then there is no church today we end our unity octave which was started on january 18 and 25th it is going to end this unity octave started with the feast of the conversion of saint peter and ended with the conversion at uh, the feast of conversion of saint paul why because these two personalities are totally different to each other they were different personalities they had different values they had different acceptances they had special uniqueness too but they were together they were united for the love of christ so this is the message at the feast of conversion of saint paul though we have differences though we are separated though we have different value system though we have different cultures we all need to be together in order to show our love for our for our god who is jesus christ even when we as we as you heard in the introduction saint paul was the apostle for the gentiles and saint peter was the apostle for the jews so they were rich and great because they had constant touch with the master and hence it is important that we be in touch with the lord that we have love for our master then only all these differences start diminishing start withering otherwise we celebrate the differences or we celebrate separatedness for which we are not called and that is not our mission so my dear brothers and sisters as we partake in this celebration let us ask the lord so whatever i do whatever i think whatever i i communicate commission lord let this done be let anything be done in your name whether it is for me or for your mission so let us ask the lord to help us to follow the mandate one and same mandate of the lord that we go into the world and proclaim his gospel and baptize the people in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit god our loving father as we celebrate the conversion of saint paul help us lord to surrender ourselves help us to be with you help us also to see who is talking to us lord on his way to damascus saint paul asked you who are you you responded it is i jesus of nazareth whom you are persecuting lord you help us through the word of god of today's feast that i is not one i is a community though we are different members of the church we make one body in your name we make one church in your name and we go forward to the rest of the world in your name lord as we are going to celebrate this eucharistic celebration we bring to you all our personal petitions our community needs and family intentions and especially the people who are offering this mass the corpus fund donors divyavani tv special donors and people who are con continually constantly helping towards the mission of the church to the rest of the world lord as we ask this help us to be connected to you we make this prayer through christ our lord amen
scatter and sown, weed gather and grown, bread broken as shed as one, the living bread of God, wine food of the land, wine work of our hands, one cup that is shared by your the living cup, the living bread of God. It's not the bread we break, a sharing in our Lord. It's not the cup we bless, the blood of Christ our Lord. Seeds gather and sown, wheat gather and grown. Broken as shed as one, the living bread of God, wine fruit of the land, wine work of our hands, one cup that is shed by all, the living cup, the living bread of God. Pray, my dear brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to the loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and our good of all His holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Spirit fill us with that light of faith, with which He constantly enlightened the blessed Apostle Paul for the spreading of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you eternal shepherd do not desert your flock but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your son and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body 
and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection. You have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul Antony, our Archbishop, and all the clergy, Remember also brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with Blessed Apostle, St. Paul, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, name thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the words, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring me to life everlasting. Amen. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, 
I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. loved me and given himself up for me. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which the blessed apostle Paul burnt ardently as he bore his concern for all the churches through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. stand in need of liberation, my boy, is still The blind and the deaf, the dumb and the mad, all need your in your healing time. The world stand in need of liberation, my Lord. He still has to learn to love. There are those who have first by refuse to hear the Humanity has done. There are those who have fears but refuse to hear the cries of those in agony. The world stand in need of liberation, my Lord. He still has to heal your power. The blind and the deaf. Dampen the man, only to feel your healing touch. The world standing in need of liberation, my Lord, is still.
still has to learn to 